Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. I have a 10 by 10 inch pre-primed black canvas. It has mead and black paint on it. It's not the best background and it's obviously still somewhat wet in places because I just got some on me. But um, I wanted to do another scoop and I've got a folded piece of sheet of stiff plastic. I just scored it with something sharp and bent it and I'm hoping that it's small enough to do the job and large enough to uh, give us some nice stripes. So normally I would go ahead and use a smaller container and attempt this, but I think this time, because I might use my leftovers, chances are very good in fact, I'm going to use a larger pan. I've already gotten... Oh, I, have, I wanted to show you these other scoops. It's something like the covering over um, a set of Sharpie pens or something. Just peel off the backing, cut it in back, cut it down the middle and uh, trim off the edges and then you have a little handle. It's a little bigger than my other one so I'm not going to use that, I don't think. I'm going to use some color in the bottom of my dish. I'm a Color Art Affiliate so look for the 20% off Color Art coupon code underneath the video in the description. Very close to the Pixel Paint Designs coupon code for 10% off that will get you Australian Floetrol. Uh, also in the description under the video, look for my link tree. And while we're at it, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, please join me. I really could use the, the morale boost. Alright, so that's frostbite, if I didn't say I am now. And I need a base color every time to add colors on top of. And I'm going to start with my one of my all-time favorites, which is cerulean blue. I'm running a little low. I'm going to have to do something about that quick. Now, there's usually no rhyme or reason, but as I say that, I realize that I like the cerulean blue. I like it in combination with the royal sapphire, which I'm going to add some of right now. I don't necessarily want to cross things over because I'll lose that, that color that's under there. Um, if you were swiping, that might be different. This is a color I made through... Um, mixing up some purely pigments which is a new form of creating mixed colors from color art. I definitely recommend having a look at that and uh, I can't remember exactly. Uh, sour apple and a little bit of vibrant aqua is what it says on the label. This is Miami Magenta This is Dancing Plum. This is another purely pig pigment. I will put the colors underneath the video. I think I'm going to throw a, li a little bit of pink carnation in there. I've got some Orange Crush. I haven't tried to do this this small ever, that I recall. <laughs> that can always change. I've got a new prism pour called Bobbing for Apples, which is a wonderful purple. So far I've been trying to remember to put in some of the Fandango. I'm really tempted to, um, to float a little bit of interference gold on the surface of this, just in case it works. It looks white, but it's not. It will dry a beautiful, shimmery, butterfly wing golden color, if there is such a thing. I'll leave that out. I might want it. I almost forgot my blue velvet, Whoop. which I forget has a little bit of fluid from back at the time when I thought it was a good idea to add some water. The Q-tip will usually take care of that. Now we'll give it a little bit of a shake. I want some yellow. 
I want some more orange too. I think saffron is coming into play. Saffron's another prison pour. Yep, definitely a good, good call. I still haven't put any of that Fandango in, and I want to. So you could just pick a few of these colors that go together well and call that a solution. We don't need all the variations that I have. They'll still be beautiful if they're from color art. They'll still be beautiful color combination no matter what if you pick beautiful colors. That was Tuscan Sun. And I'm wondering if there's anything else I want. And the only thing I can think of is that I want a lighter color. And I've got Plum Blossom, but I don't want that. Oh, I missed the, uh, the Cupid's Crush. which is a primary element. And I will combine a little bit. That's a beautiful red. Beautiful. Now, comes it. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I drained my bottle of Sour Lemon with Orange Crush. Come on. And it's really thick. If I show you, I'll un undo my progress. But it definitely adds a gorgeous pop of color. I'm not going to try and stop and pick up and stop and go. I'm just going to use it. And there's still a little bit left. I'll put a top back on that. I'll attempt to put a top back on it. It's Kind of delicate. I wonder if I can keep this right here. Okay, so I didn't fill the whole pan because I wanted to experiment with that. And I do want a scrape dish right now. Instead of scraping it on the actual pan itself, I want to scrape it on the scrape dish. try and use some of the same paint that's right here. Hopefully it keeps moving off of my scoop. Oh, I just picked up a little red heart. trying to be sneaky and go back and fill in. But I think I'm going to attempt to blow my puddle. And in this case use my finger. My dish. I want more orange. So the only way to do that is to actually make a special point of picking it up. Come on, scrape off. Kind of makes me want to grab a wider tool.
And I keep wondering if I can go and put a thin side on and then add. I'm very curious about that. I'm going to try and drag this out as far as I can get it to go. I'm probably going to blow on that puddle over there. Although I'd kind of like to just let it flow first and see if it'll... I don't want to stick my face any closer to that. There we go. I think I like the idea of the little scoop of the handle better because it's something that's easier to hold on to than just squeezing the edges of this. Oops. That's a Q-tip. That's just me deciding to add a line to cover that. I'm going to take the pretty colors in my dish and use them because they are pretty. Although there is a bubble sitting there. So at this point when I was doing the other painting that was similar to this, that's when I decided to scoop up some colors and dribble them. Which I think I'm going to do again. I like the colors in my dish, they're really pretty. Sorry if I'm quiet in between. Deciding to get Creative could get dangerous too. I'm thinking I should add a little bit of decor at 24 karat gold to this. And maybe some dots as well. I'm not sure spinning the turntable to work with the paint on it is actually my favorite scenario. I think I'm just going to give myself a little bit of this. Trying to stop 
dipping my bottle and touching the painting with it. I'm getting to feel like I might be almost done. I'm definitely closer than I was a few minutes ago. So let me just grab my paint. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Getting closer all the time, I think. The only problem with these little scrape dishes is they're plastic and they've been used for so many years that they have a grungy buildup on them, I think. I didn't dump it. Good for me. There's a bubble. Not much further I want to go. I think I'm going to blow on this over here and use whatever paint is left in my scoop. Yep, I like that just fine. I have enough paint left to dot things. Let's blow this over first. Sorry about my head. The turntable was trying to get away from me. It's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. This is my chopstick. I'm picking up a little bit of gold. And whatever color strikes my fancy, honestly. Getting close. So I love you guys. You should check out my playlists. There are at least 33 of them that you can access that have 100 videos on them each. I'm pretty sure most of them are available now. Not 100%, but mostly. I post a new video every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you look on the link tree underneath the, in the description, you will find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook, my Facebook is Priscilla Batsell dash art because my old Facebook contacts all went away when Facebook decided I was done. Oops. Okay, that means that we're out of here. Okay, so I'm back again because my camera ran out of time and I wanted to shimmer this at you and make sure you know there's 33 
33 playlists and 100 videos each on them. I wanted to say thank you to all of the patrons, Patreons and people who donate through PayPal and, and my members are keeping me and my channel alive. So thank you so much for being here. I did use a chopstick. I'm pretty sure you saw some of that, but I'm not 100% sure how much. Um, my chopstick has a round end on it, which, which is cool. You could use the ones with the square ends, I'm sure. I thought I'd come and shimmer this at you for a second. Make sure you know that you should look for the 20% off color art coupon code underneath the video in the description along with the 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code that will get you Australian Floetrol, Pebeo paints and Boom Gel and other stuff that I love. But um, whatever I've forgotten you'll see in another video. I do give lessons at the house in Springville, Florida and I do sell my artwork. And I hope you come again at 2.15, excuse me, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I see there's a bubble, so I'm going to hit it quick with a torch, and then I'm going to be gone. Uh, my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Thank you again for your kind words and your comments. You keep my morale boosted. And just know, if you watch the videos all the way through, you might help my channel survive because the YouTube algorithm is responding to the, long, the length of time people are watching. I would love to have your thumbs up, and I would love it if you would subscribe. Please and thank you very much. Have a happy new year. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.